What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Retro Aviation. Hope you're having a fantastic day today and today a very exciting model unboxing for you all. I really hope each and every one of you are excited for today's video and without any further delay, let's go ahead and get started everybody. I believe this is the first singular model unboxing of 2024 and this will be a very nice asset for the collection. There is a reason that I'm unboxing this individually and you'll see why here momentarily but nevertheless let's just go ahead and get into the box and see what it's all about. So this model comes from Jet Collector. They've done a great job. This is the only place I can find this model so far so i decided to buy it from here this one's also not completely realistic and i'll explain the reason i chose to get it anyway in just a moment but i think that it'll all start to piece together once we get this box open so let's just go ahead and do just that so here we go and packing peanuts are pretty standard here for jet collector i'll go ahead and take out the invoice which is looking very nice and i'll try to get as few of these around the table as i can but nevertheless, this one's really exciting for a variety of reasons, and I'm very excited to have it. And there was your little hint right there is what you kind of saw there on the box. But nevertheless, everybody, we have the JC Wings 1 to 400 scale Northern Pacific Airways Boeing 757-200 in their current livery. So very excited to have this aircraft for a variety of reasons. And again, I think it'll make sense why I chose to get it now once we uh, start talking about it a little bit more. So let's just go ahead and get into that discussion, everybody. So the reason I'm doing this single and model unboxing right now is because I want to film my Reno Tahoe updates for January and February. And as a result, if I want to feature this model in those updates, I need to get it out. So that's reason number one. And I did buy particularly to get the Reno updates going immediately at least so that's why I was in its own box and the other major factor here that I was really excited about this model for is this is a pretty unusual model for JC Wings to make typically you would think that Gemini Jets or NG models would make a new US airline JC Wings was actually the first company to do it so I thought that was really cool about this model and the last remark that I would like to make before we unbox the model is that yes I know that the new Pacific uh, titles are what's going to be accurate going forward but we have Northern Pacific and we have a model that's really close to what that's going to be so i decided to go ahead and get this one and in the future if a new pacific one's released i'll just flip flop them and sell this one so all those factors will work out just fine but nevertheless let's not waste any further time on that discussion and go ahead and get into the box everybody so this is a very cool box so here on the top left you have the northern pacific titles Here's kind of your box art. So they're kind of going off the design of the aircraft. So you can see kind of the black design back here. They're kind of showing that throughout and Boeing kind of, you know, that uh, design type phase, which is really cool to see on this box. 757-1400, we got 40132. There was a couple iterations of this done. 1 to 400 scale. I believe this is also out in 1 to 200 as well. So a pretty simple box throughout, but a very good looking one. Here's the back, which has some specifications. It's Boeing, the overall length 42 meters. The wingspan 38, the height 13, number of engines 2, and the RB211, of course, which we love to see. Here's the CGI images of the side and top. And overall, again, this is going to be a really helpful asset. I predominantly got this for the Reno model airport, so I wouldn't have to keep using the Marriott Jet 757. But also, it's awesome to get new US carriers. We've obviously got Breeze and we've got a Velo. So I thought it would be awesome to get uh, Northern Pacific here. And obviously, even though I'm not going to be able to use that at all my airports, it should be a pretty helpful asset in the future until a new Pacific one comes out. And then, of course, I'll get that. So we won't waste any further time and go ahead and get into this. Boeing 757 with winglets. So here it is. No collector cards or any of that. So that is awesome. And here is the model itself. Uh, this mold's really solid. It's one of the best that Gemini Jets and NG, or sorry, Gemini Jets and JC Wings can collaborate for. So I haven't got one in a little bit, so I'm excited to see what it's all about. And overall, this is looking really, really nice from the glance. So I'll go ahead and put that down and take the plastic off to the side over here, and we'll go ahead and take a look. And apologies that literally the clouds went right behind the little sun that we had right before we got it out so hopefully we'll get a little bit more to show here in a little bit but nevertheless we'll do what we can with what we have so here it is everybody the jc wings 1 to 400 scale northern pacific airways boeing 757 200 again in their current livery very excited to have this aircraft again it will prove to be a powerful asset here in the collection it looks really nice i love all the various colors that are featured on it uh, all throughout the aircraft and again i think it'll be a really cool addition here for the collection so let me go ahead even it out Let's see if we can get a good angle on it here, get it zoomed in and let me bring it in just a little bit more here so that we can really get the full connotation of this particular aircraft. So without any further delay, everybody, let me go ahead, get it completely centered here and we'll go ahead and take a look at the aircraft. 
even out just a little bit. All right, here we go. It looks really great, so excited to take a look here. All right, so we have the cockpit windows along with the kind of raccoon mask area, as you can see right here. Here's the nose cone, and of course, we have the actual nose cone piece itself along with some pitot tubes and various panels, so that looks really nice. Here's the L1 door, making sure it focuses on the aircraft so you can see what we're seeing here. L1 door with the window and the lever, so that looks really nice right here. Then, of course, you got the nose landing gear with the nose landing gear door. This is probably the one major downside of the mold compared to offerings like NG models, how it's a little bit bulky on the landing gear itself. It's not a problem, of course, just wanted to make that observation for anybody that was curious on that with the lowest landing gear. The door also seems a little too small on this particular aircraft that could come down to QC or another reason, but again, not a huge issue right there to say the least. Here's the L1 door once again. Then of course, Northern Pacific, I believe they have a little bit of first class on their planes and then it mainly goes into economy. So that's what we're gonna find here in this area. And then we got Northern Pacific. The logo looks really cool. I personally think Northern Pacific sounds a little bit better than New Pacific, but it's not a huge deal. So definitely excited that we have Northern and New Pacific going and it's gonna be exciting to hopefully get to catch them here in the near future. Then of course we have this Wi-Fi box right here. It's one of the bigger ones, which isn't a problem. It looks pretty good. I think the only other model that I have with this type of Wi-Fi box is my first or second release Delta or uh, I'm sorry 2018 or 2022 Delta 757 I think that's the only other one that has this big of a box so certainly interesting observation right there we also have the first two antennas and then the L2 door with the lever and some really good detail there with the red and the various pieces you also have a couple of panels down there and that looks really good too Okay, so here is the wing area, so you can see how nicely detailed that is there. This is a really good effort. This is still the one-piece mold, but the engines aren't crazy tilted. There was a couple models that JC did previously that had really crazy engine tilt, so I'm glad this one is not on that list. It has a little bit, but certainly not bad at all. Then we have the wing, which looks really nice here with the flat slat speed brakes. I have to say the slats look drastically improved from some of the previous ones I've got, or maybe I'm just noticing them more. Anyways, it does look really good, whatever the case may be. So that's some of the better wing detail here I've seen on the Gemini 757 mold or JC, however you want to phrase that. So that looks really good right there to say the least. Here is the Skimitar winglets, which look really good on this aircraft. So of course you got some various colors, including the white, green, navy and mid-tone blue so that's certainly very cool there it is on the front and there it is on the back so that looks really nice right there to say the least so looking very good there let me see if i can get back if you focus on the fuselage main landing gear another slight downside here is that a little bit clunky compared to the precision you'll find on the ng models mold but again it's not a huge issue more of an observation for all of you that are curious so that's what we have right there they are nice and level and the gear do roll pretty good for the ones that are on the ground the right side especially looks good there but it just depends uh, i kind of forgot to mention this but here it's a very simple fuselage. The white goes all the way throughout and then finally the black starts here after the L2 door and comes over the wing and then it eventually takes over, which is really cool. A Gen 1757, so we have of course the L3 door right there, which is nice. Got a couple of various panels or details there throughout. Then you can see where we finally get to the registration. US flag has a weird cutout there. I'm not sure what that is, but what can you do? The registration is aircraft November 6, 2, 8, no, no, November Papa. You have the antenna on the back down here, so that looks very very nice. The L4 door looks really good and it is nice to get some color at long last here as we can see with detail and this really cool kind of over the top wave. I'm not sure exactly what you want to phrase that as, but that looks really cool along with the logo there on the top in green and kind of a little bit of blue at the very top, which is really cool. You also have the horizontal stabilizers, APU and the rest of the detail right there. The right side of the aircraft also looks very nice. A little bit of engine tilt, a little bit more than the other side. Not notorious, but certainly not the prettiest. You can see the cargo door looks really good with the various details there. Nuzzling gear also rolls pretty good. And there's the right ones you can really see in action right there. And the back one also looks good. And again, this side's very similar. The only major difference there are those luggage doors. So that's certainly nice right there to say the least. Let's go ahead and take a look at the top of the aircraft, which looks really good. You got a little bit of detail, but ultimately pretty standard there for what you would expect from a JC-757. The bottom of the aircraft also looks really good. No JC Wings logo. You do have the stand hold though. A little beacon right there. The underneath piece of the front of the fuselage looks awesome right there. So definitely want to highlight that. In the back also has its fair share of detail as well to say the least. 
So yeah, this is definitely a really cool model. Very glad to have it again. This will be a huge asset at Reno. I know that it is New Pacific. It isn't perfect, of course, but again, sorry about the glitch on my phone, guys. I don't know why I did that. I did that the other day. Again, I'm gonna have to evaluate the storage and make sure I have enough. Anyway, this is a really cool model and I'm very glad to have it here in the collection. What a gorgeous plane it is. And again, it will be a huge asset at Reno. Uh, currently out of Ontario, New Pacific Airlines flies to three destinations. They fly to Las Vegas, Reno Tahoe, and Nashville. So certainly quite a uh, trifecta of routes there, but very excited to get to represent this aircraft here in the collection and have yet another US uh, startup airline in the collection here for the 2020s. So eager to see what happens with this aircraft going into the future, what happens with New Pacific Airlines, and hopefully we'll be able to get the correct titles here in the near future, but it's certainly close for the uh, meantime. So with all that being said, everybody, that'll do for today's model unboxing. Let me know what you think of this model. I'll be very curious to hear, but nevertheless, that'll do for today's video, everybody. Thank you all so much for watching. I want to thank each and every one of you for watching. My name is Dredger of Aviation. Take it easy, everybody. Stay safe. Trust the process. Do what you love and love what you do. My name is Dredger of Aviation. I want to thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all soon as Dredger of Aviation is signing off.